Hi world, my name is Day and welcome to Spanglish Generation. I have created this space where we can talk about the daily things that inspire us and affect us and where we can share our stories and inspire each other to do better and achieve more. Before I continue, if you find value in the content that I provide for you every week, I encourage you to please subscribe, click that notification bell, like, share, become engaged, and that way you enable me to create more content of value to you. Today's topic is a hard one for people to hear, but there are things we need to talk about. I want to remain objective and fair, and I encourage you to analyze this topic, researching, searching inside your own heart. You'll realize that sometimes we feel a certain way or have certain ideas, but fail to stand by them because the information we are being fed from so many different channels really silences our own voice. I have thought long and hard about this and I am simply offering my point as a means to make you think. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that's become extra popular in the last years and that is privilege. Privilege is defined as a special right, advantage or immunity granted or available only to a particular person or group. I'll tell you what really prompted me to do this video and to talk about this topic. About 10 years ago, while living in Arizona, I had a conversation with a boy that was, I believe, nine at that time. We were talking about what he wanted to be when he grew up. Now, I don't really remember exactly what he said in terms of what he wanted to be, but his response after that really, really shocked me. He told me that in order to be great at something, he had to work extra, extra hard. So I asked why, to which he responded, my mom says that because I am Hispanic, I have to work harder than anybody else. She says that to get ahead, brown people have to work more. I was in absolute shock. I could not believe that I was standing in front of a little boy who had literally shattered something inside me. He was being taught by his mother at a very early age that he was at a disadvantage exclusively because of his race and skin color. I'm not white, you can tell, right? But I have been raised proud to be who I am and pursue and be kind and serve. I was raised by parents who believe in more. They taught me to believe in more and they taught me that my worth comes only from God. The concept of privilege has been used by many movements and leaders throughout time. It has been used to oppress people in the sense of being superior, like Hitler, for example, or to make people feel like they are treated unfairly by and because of a privileged few, as is the case of Fidel Castro, whose privilege narrative we Cubans are very familiar with. Now, I am not denying there are social structures that can benefit certain people over others. I'm not denying sexism and I am not denying racism. All these things do exist. However, what concerns me the most at this moment is our own perception of the world and the people around us. So many minorities actually see themselves at a disadvantage just for the color of their skin. That same little boy I encountered has a distorted vision of himself that will influence the way he sees and experiences the future. If he doesn't get a particular job he wanted or a part in the school play, he may not think that it's because he wasn't qualified enough. He may simply jump to the conclusion that it was because he's Hispanic, because he's not privileged enough, instead of thinking that maybe he just needs to work harder. Because of his twisted view, he may just jump to the conclusion that it's all him and there's nothing he can do about it. Do you see what we're doing to our children by teaching them they're at a disadvantage exclusively because of who they are, something they have no control over? That's insane. Now, I know the truth is not necessarily always the reality. I get it. But the truth is that we should be teaching privilege at a much deeper and simpler level. We should feel privileged to be alive, to be exactly who we are. We should feel pride in getting to experience a life on this planet. And that's regardless of what color the vessel your soul rides in is. 
We should encourage our kids to know that they are great and capable of reaching anything they set their mind to. Why would anyone predispose children whose minds are still so fragile and influenced by everything we tell them to believe that other races have an advantage over them? And this isn't only about race, it's about your environment and your perception as well. An overweight actor may think that fit actors have an advantage. A brunette model may feel that blonde models have privilege. A flat-chested girl may feel that the ones with the big boobs have more privilege. We can construct privilege anywhere, but it's just that, an idea that we mold to play into something we want to believe because it will make us feel better or make excuses for us. Or in the case of politics and wars of power, divide people. Think about that. Because people who are divided, weak, filled with predispositions and prejudgments, are the ones who can easily fall for a savior that comes in who has all the solutions for the things they don't have control over. Let's stop feeding our kids this venom. Let's stop setting them up to be people who judge themselves and others too quickly and sometimes unfairly simply because the lens that we gave them to view the world is distorted. Our children deserve better. Our world deserves better. Are there people with more privilege than you and I? Of course. There are people in more privileged positions. Yes, they may have inheritance money. Yes, they may be royalty. But no one should ever be able to convince you that someone else has more privilege just because of the color of their skin or their ethnicity. I am privileged to live. I am privileged to breathe, to see my children grow, to love a wonderful man and be loved back. I am privileged to live in freedom and be able to use my voice to do good. I hope this message resonates with you and it makes you think. And as a parent, if you are a parent, we need to be really careful with what we teach our children and what perception we are drilling in their minds of who they are, where they stand in the world, and what their true value is. Let's teach them positive self-image. Let's teach them self-worth that goes beyond anything that has to do with color or ethnicity. Let's teach them that they can be great regardless because they are already privileged to be here in this life in the first place. Our children should never have to worry about comparing themselves to anybody else. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Now is my time to shine. Let's when your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go. Since